to get us going. I want to do start a uh, split squat position. That back heel is off the ground. We're just going to do little baby pulses. You know, start to feel the bottom of that back foot stretch. You'll start to feel uh, that back leg turn on, this front glute turn on. Let's do a couple more on this side. That's good. Now, all I want you to do is a little kickstand. So you're going to pull that back foot off the ground and try not to move forward when it happens. Just try to pull, 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 pull. Let's do like five more. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're just going to side. All right, so now, just little short lunges, get warm. This shouldn't be taxing to do a lot of them, right? Back foot should stretch a little bit underneath you. Couple more. Now I'm gonna sit, and now it's just a pull, pull, pull. Up, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, next one. We're gonna do a little crouching shin box. So we're gonna start down here. Now, my heels are off the ground. I'm okay with that for right now. All right? But you're gonna start a little wider, but just a little bit wide so it's a little bit uncomfortable. Then you're gonna bring one shin down, push up, come back, and back. Other shin down, push up. Back and back. All right. This is probably easier off your mat because my mat is definitely grinding into my mat. It's probably awesome on like a tile floor. Right? But yeah, let's try it without that. So we're going to sit here, right? I'm going to shin box and push my hips forward so I can open up that hip flexor. Come back, boom. Let's do one more each side. Good. Next one. Um, down dog tops in my okay. So we're going down dog, and we're gonna do a leg lift out of down dog. All right, so big, yeah, big old, big old V here, just like this. From here, we're gonna lift the leg, right? All right, don't open it, right? Just kind of lift that, squeeze that glute, put it back down. Now, I want you to try to grab that same ankle, right, and then come back. Now go the other way, lift, don't open, come back, grab that ankle, come back. Lift, down, ankle, back, lift, down, ankle, back. Last ones each way. Boom. 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 The idea is here, right? And we can start our legs bent, because what's going to happen is not it's not about core stability. It's kind of about hips, hip mobility, um, and thoracic mobility. Hands are going to stay kind of frozen on the ground. I'm going to go here. I'm going to kick through, put my hip on the ground, come back, and back. So kick 
through, hip on the ground, back. Try to get your butt to touch the floor there, if you can. Let's go last ones each way. All right, now I think we stand up. All right, so, yeah. On the wall. We're gonna do a wall sit. Then we're gonna keep our arms long. And we're just gonna do sides with our arms. And I'm gonna rotate. <sighs> Trying to keep the wrist, the shoulder, the elbow, the upper back all. So now I'm like slippery. It's, it's not pretty. All right, um, scorpion, lay flat. Palms down. What I'm gonna do, lift the leg, reach over, come back on the leg. bigger stretch, I try to keep my chest facing the floor. So watch my left shoulder right now. When I go over, it's going to want to open up. See that? If I can keep it here, I'm going to get a bigger stretch. Give me the last one here. Another one, side plank to press. So if you can, you're gonna go on your hand. If not, elbow's fine. All right, go. Elbow or hand, side plank. All right, we're going here. All right, so that elbow's underneath the shoulder. Hand is underneath the shoulder. And then all I'm gonna do with this top hand, I'm gonna touch floor, ceiling, floor, we're we'll gonna do six, three, four, little baby bend in this elbow. Five, six, let me go this high. Woo! back and then we're just gonna do a walking bridge so on your back sweaty already all right I'm gonna start with my feet out away from me if I can actually let's start with our feet closer to us so we can establish this bridge boom squeeze the butt now keep your butt squeeze you're just gonna walk your feet out walk your feet back do five trips so it should be squeezed here. For me, that's 
that's good. That's two trips. Three trips. Reestablish if you have to. Four trips. Five trips. Good. And next. Golf swing. Easy. Alright. Everything's gonna rotate with you. If I go this way, my feet are gonna go that way. If I go this way, my feet are gonna go that way too. So I'm gonna kind of hinge, little baby bend at the knees, and then I'm just gonna rotate, see how my back foot goes, and then rotate. Rotate. Down, down. If you want to, you can pretend it's a club. Now, I know a lot of us from there, but that's not where the body works. My body works together. All right, get a couple more. Okay, I'm just gonna, mm, where I feel good. Okay, so we're getting warmed up, all right? Now, four exercises, there's two rounds, uh, there's two sets of things, four exercises in each little set. Um, 10 reps a side, or 10 reps of these exercises, and then four times through each little grouping. So the first grouping, you're gonna need a ball or Something, pillow, I don't know, whatever you have at home, sandbag, right? Because we're gonna do toe taps. And again, 10 toe taps aside, not a huge problem, right? But we're gonna touch that object that's in front of us every single time, right? So 10 aside. Then we have this marching push up. And we're gonna do 10 total push ups so it doesn't get crazy. But you're gonna go. One push up, two push ups, three push ups, four push ups, five push ups. So you're gonna march back and forth. Every time you do a push up, you move a hand forward or backwards. Right? Um, and then we'll do 10 total push ups. Uh, prone angels, flat on the ground. Right? This is the one where you keep your arms in line with your ears, you go all the way around. Pinkies to butt, thumbs to thumbs. Pinkies to butt, thumbs to thumbs. I have 10 of those. And then, we're on the wall. We get to our 90 degree wall set. All right, and then from here, it's one, boom, boom, boom. Now some of you guys, in that move in particular, may feel like a little bit of stress on the knee. If you are one of those people, try to sit lower or don't lift your leg as high. Maybe it's just a, it's just, oh, maybe it's just a, here, 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 like that. All right, it doesn't have to be that, oh, um, oh. All right, so we have four rounds of 10 reps uh, of each exercise. After we do one round, take a little breather, get a drink, do it again, right? This should move rather quickly. We started late, and I think we should actually get done right on time if we do this correctly. Got it? So I think we can do four rounds in 10 minutes, and then I think we can do the next set of four rounds in 10 minutes as well. Um, right, so this is our first one. Toe taps, uh, march and push up, those prone angels, and then that wall sit and march. All right? Easy enough. All right, here we go. Toe taps first. Boom. We're off and we're running. Eight, 
happen. Doesn't matter. Prone angels. Lift those arms up. That's what's gonna make this effective or not. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back end. Squeeze your back together. Arms stay high. Eight. Two more for me. Take a quick break. You are more than welcome to go right now, but I'm gonna take a quick drink. I'm gonna do water, and then I'm gonna do my round. I'm gonna do round two. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, all right, round two. All right, so the idea is to stay on top of the ball here, or the object, and not to lean back like this to get there. So I wanna attack the ball more than I wanna go, than I wanna just hit it. All right, so let, let me show you from the side. All right, so I want to go here, upper body, look at my upper body. Boom, boom, boom. Not here. All right, get that? I'm going to tap it. Let's go. I'm going to move a little bit smaller this time. Easily, least favorite one out of all these. If you have to, because of your shoulder mobility, if you have to flip your hands around, flip your hands around. All right? If it's just not working, range of motion so it can't get stuck here, turn your hands around and see if you can go further.
rest and here we go again. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. I'm ready. I'm gonna go. If you need more break, you take more break. You are ahead of me. Sweet. Cat, cow. It'll start that action of your shoulder blades coming together. Start to notice that you're dropping your arms. Last one. Are right, you dropping your arms because it's tiring? That exercise is very taxing. If we do it wrong, no, it's not taxing at all, right? If we do it wrong, it isn't taxing. But if we do it right, One more round of that, and then we got four new exercises. This is, this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm gonna do my round. Here we go. That's that feels like a basketball working out. So that back to the bow. Much of push-up. I'm out that quick and I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm 
Arms up. Arms up. Arms up. Arms up. This is where they get, start to get lower. Arms up. Arms up. Three more. One. Two. Arms up. Three. Woo! Bounce your booty like a basketball, because if you don't, then they don't shake it at all. Uh, sweat a little bit today. In this house, in this house. So those are those, we're done with those. All right, so I'm gonna move right into the next four. Get up, get down, however you can. All right, that's not, that's just one where you're laying on your back, get up off the ground. All right, so you roll, you turn and push. It's just however you can get up, all right? Um, squat jump. Plank and reach, we're gonna do five a side. It's the only exercise that's different. So plank and reach, we'll do five a side, and then tricep push up. All right, so tricep push up, we're kind of gonna go a little wider with the feet, kind of sit into that V there, right? And that's kind of our move. All right, if it doesn't feel good, move your hands out wider and do more of a traditional looking push up. Right? So just transition it to more traditional looking. Right? And then you should be okay. Um, all right? So get up, get down 10, squat jump 10, uh, plank and reach, five a side, and then 10 tricep push ups. Four rounds of this guy. We won't finish on time. We'll finish a little bit late. That's all right. All right, here we go. I suppose that guy. However, you want to get up. Let's watch it. Like a reach, five side. Establish it. Alternate sides. So, 
press. So on plank and reach, renegade row, anything that's one-sided like that, ask yourself if it would benefit you more to alternate sides. And I'm gonna show you exactly why right now with the renegade row. Or actually I'll just show you with the I'll show you next round with the plank and reach. Right? Why you need to maybe uh, alternate rather than staying on one side and reaching. Alright. Alright, get up, get down. I'm gonna do my round two. I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit. You gotta ask yourself, why do we do such a silly movement, right? Why is, why is that one of our exercises? And now, ask yourself how that's a real life opportunity, right? Is it? Do we do things like that in real life? Does it make sense to be able and capable to do that exercise? Because maybe your grandparent or your parent uh, or your brother or sister playing with their kid, and all of a sudden now it's hard for you to get off the ground, maybe that's pretty important. Squat jump. Alright, watch this plank and reach, just one, actually just three. So if I stay on one side of my plank and reach, I can basically shift my body weight to that side that's on the ground. And I can take away all of what I'm trying to accomplish here. If I just go like this and do this, you can see that I'm rotated to change my center of gravity on top of that arm that's on the ground. All right? But if I alternate, I'm going to notice that I'm doing that by hips, rocking forward and backwards. So if I do that every time, alternating, so if I go here, here, I'm gonna know, because my hips are gonna move, a boat load, right? I'm like, that doesn't feel right, I'm like rocking, my butt's shaking, something's not right, I need to settle down. You need to slow down. All right, enough, squeeze, here we go. Two more rounds, and then we're done, and then we're done, and then we're da -da 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 done. I mean, that's,
Round three. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to what got me here. Go back to what got me here. Oh. <laughs> I'm so lonely. I've established the plank and then do not negotiate yourself out of it. All right, that's all this is. That's all this is is negotiation. All right, but you drive a hard bargain. All right. That's all it is. It's a negotiation and you don't wanna you don't wanna give. Alright, because this this is value to you. take that deal. That deal, you get nothing in return, bro. You get nothing in return. You can take the deal. Horrible deal. One more round. So you gotta think about what's the exchange rate, all right? What's the exchange rate in that exercise, all right? If you negotiate it down to terms that easy wants, that exchange rate gets lower and lower for you, all right? If you make the exercise easy, your return on that investment much lower all right? But if you drive a hard bargain and you're like, no, I'm not gonna give in to that. I'm not gonna say, well, this is easier, so I'll just take that. All right? I'm gonna say, this is the challenge, and I'm holding my ground. All right? If you hold your ground, you will retain more value from that deal you just made. So now, all right, when I do my plank and reach, if I go like this, I just made a deal. I just made a deal, I said, you know what? I'll do that exercise, um, but I'm gonna take away a lot of the value of it, and I'll give it to you, right? Here you go, here's that exercise, right? You didn't get anything back, because that's, that's not valuable. But now, if you do that plank and reach, it's boom, boom. All of a sudden, now what you have to offer is valuable, and you will get a bunch in return from it. I know, I'm annoying, I'm annoying sometimes. Um, okay, so here we go. Last round, I think. All right, last round. 
I know I know we're running late, and I thought it was Saturday, so I wasn't even planning on doing the workout. But <laughs> here we are. All right, here we are. Get up, get down. I'll do it the other way this time. The other way that I like. My mat is just gross. Let's try another one. Other shoulder. Maybe. Ooh. I can reach. Awesome. Do not negotiate with terrorists. Danny Roman was not a terrorist. Uh, Nemo knew something was going on. Uh, get safe being on the phone. Get safe being on the phone. Chris Sabian. Okay, diving push-ups for the win. Here we go. Here we go. Don't stick your neck out for this exercise. You're devaluing it. One more. One more for good luck. Grab the wall. Alright. Grab the wall. Let's walk past it. Shows you. Alright, I'm gonna stay here like this. I want a bigger stretch. I'm just gonna switch the legs out. Woo! All right, so my inside leg, that arm is behind me, that guy's forward. Take the wall, we're gonna go overhead. Back your butt, your feet up, and then just stick your butt towards the camera like I am. Go ahead, half kneel. All right. Boom. Bring both arms up overhead. Now move them over to the front leg side.
breathe, try to relax. That's all she wrote for you kids. Cool cats and fine felines. I like that one. I like that one, guys. I like that one. 